Are you looking for a quick selling product to make with your laser engraver? In this video, I'm gonna give you everything you need to make a very simple project that sells really well, and more importantly, it will help you grow your laser engraving business. Here's what you need to complete today's project. You need some quarter inch or 6.35 millimeter plywood. You need a piece that's about six by eight inches or 220 by 150 millimeters. You need some clear coat, preferably quick drying, some number two pencils, and some rubber bands. Oh, and a laser engraver. A laser engraver is the key ingredient here. Now, how do I know these sell really well? I sent out a text message to six people advertising 10 pencils for $10 with a name on each pencil. And within five minutes, I sold out my entire first run. The important thing isn't necessarily how much you sell these for and how much you make from the pencils. And we're gonna talk more about that later. All the cutting and engraving today I'm doing on my longer B1 30 watt. If you want more information about the laser, I've got links down in the description. And I am sharing that so that you have a context for the speeds and powers that I am running at. You will need to modify these for your laser. Let's walk through really quick. So text fill engrave, that's just gonna do an engraving on the words and I'm doing an engraving because I'm making a jig and I want this to stand out so that I don't see this laying around somewhere and go like, oh, that's a piece of scrap and toss it out. I've got this crosshair engrave here and these two red crosshairs, which are gonna be super important later, we're gonna use a really awesome feature in Lightburn to help us line this up. That's what those are for. I am doing this lighter than the engraving because the important thing with the crosshairs here is you want it to be marked, but you do not want a deep engrave at all. And then for the cuts, I'm doing 700 millimeters per minute, 80% power, and I'm doing three passes. I prefer to do more passes at a faster speed as opposed to one very slow pass. It's ready to go. Once you put in your speeds and powers, we can start this up. And in fact, that's what we're gonna do right now. All right, so as we frame this out, we wanna make sure that when we get to the back of the wood, the laser spot doesn't drop off. You can see it's staying inside the edge, which is what we want. And same thing on the left side here, that's going to ensure that we have a square cut. And the reason I'm doing that is so that in case my plywood is not square, when I cut out the outside of the template or the jig, that will be square. And off we go. If you're watching this video and you're thinking about getting a laser engraver, but you're not sure yet, I want to let you know that I have a course called Laser Learning Diode Edition that is designed to walk you through the entire process of setting up a diode laser all the way to getting your materials dialed in so you can start laser engraving quickly. Link is in the description. Jig is done ready to go. The clear coat is meant just to seal in some of the extra soot so we don't get that rubbing off on the pencils as we're using it. All right, next step, super simple. We're gonna take 10 pencils. We're gonna put them logo side down into the template or into the jig. And we want the eraser to go against the eraser side. Push that all the way over and just do that 10 times. And there we go, jig is all set. Back in Ladeburn, I have loaded the 10 pencil template. So this has a bunch of tool frames. I, I keep calling them frames. They're technically a tool layer, but I call them frames because that's what I use them for. And I've got orange ones that represent the pencil. I've got blue ones that are the outline of where the text is gonna go. And then I've got these two spots here, which are the crosshairs. And that's what we're gonna use to line stuff up. But first, I wanna show you about this really cool feature of Lightburn called variable text. If you've never heard about it, this is what's going to make doing the pencils super fast for you. So if you look, let me zoom in here, you can see that I have this percent zero. There are different types of characters we can put in here to do different things. I'm not gonna go super in detail about how variable text works in Lightburn because it's a, that's a whole topic, that's a whole other video. For this case, just trust me when I say that this percent zero is all you need and you don't need to mess with this. What you will need to do is you will need a CSV or a comma separated values document. Don't worry, super simple. If you've never heard of those before, I'm gonna show you how to do that. We're gonna use Google Sheets. I've got my brand new spreadsheet here open in Google Sheets. So the first thing I'm gonna do is input the name into call into A1. So this first cell right here, 
and we're gonna do flex. This is actually a name that I was given for one of the sets of pencils that I have sold. Okay, so I've put my name in here, flex, and I wanna duplicate that 10 times. So I'm gonna hold down my shift key and press the down arrow. Gonna go down 10 times, and then I'm gonna do control D. That fills in the first 10 columns or the first 10 cells with the same thing. Now we're gonna go file, download, comma separated values. So we're gonna click comma separated values and we're done with Google Sheets. The Lightburn file is all set and ready to go. You don't need to do anything else except adjust your speed and power. So again, on my 30 watt longer, I'm doing 10,000 millimeters per minute at 13.5% power. You'll need to use a couple pencils to get this dialed in for your laser. I want to import that CSV file I just downloaded. So we're gonna go to variable text right here. If you do not see variable text, you can go to window and scroll down and make sure the variable text is checked. So we're gonna click over to variable text. We are going to go to the CSV file. We're going to click browse and we're, it should open up to the downloads folder. That's where mine downloaded to. If for some reason yours downloaded to a different location, you need to navigate to that folder and we're gonna double click it. Here's the cool thing. If I click and hold test, you will see that those 0% now get replaced with the text. That's it, you're ready to go. And if you preview it, it will also do the same thing and show you. So this is gonna take me two minutes and 35 seconds for 10 pencils. If you have been finding this video helpful, do me a favor and hit the like button. It helps me out a lot and lets me know you wanna see more content like this. In order to line up the laser with the template and make sure we get perfectly centered or darn near perfectly centered text, we're gonna use print and cut here in Lightburn. So the first step to that is I wanna take my laser and I wanna put it over top of the crosshair. Now this crosshair, remember, is engraved on the jig. So I'm going to go into the move command and you have to use the move command to set this. You cannot move it by hand. I'm gonna take my piece of black acrylic here, get rid of some of the glare, and we wanna put the laser spot right in the middle of that crosshair. So now I've got it right in the middle of the crosshair. So that spot is dead center of the crosshair. I'm gonna go to print and cut. The little icon up here is a little printer with a cut. So I've got my crosshair selected. I've got the laser over the crosshair. I'm gonna click set first target position. Now I'm gonna come down to here and click the second crosshair. I'm gonna click jog to selection. It's gonna move the laser to the next position or where it thinks the next position is, I'm gonna fire my laser so I can see where it's at. And then I'm going to slowly line up the second crosshair. I am in the center of the crosshair. Once that is set, we click set second target position. And then this is important. We do not wanna do scaling. We want to click align outputs, no scaling. The laser is set and ready to go. And we are gonna run this job. And there we go, all 10 are done. And our batch of 10 pencils is done. And all I do is I take a rubber band, wrap it twice, and these are ready to be delivered. 10 pencils in 10 minutes for $10. You're not making $10 or a dollar a minute. There are costs involved, I get that. The more important thing that you're doing with these is you're getting new customers and you're reconnecting with old customers. The critical concept here is that if you sell a customer something for $10, it's gonna be much easier for you to sell them something for 50, 100, $200 later on. And you're getting new customers to keep in contact with. So when things like Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas roll around, you can sell them the items that you're making for those seasons. And because they've already bought from you once, they're more likely to buy from you again. That is the big power of growing your business with a very simple product like custom pencils. And as I said, I'm going to give you the files for this for free. Down in the description, you will find a link. If you click the link, it will take you to a page where you can get the jig template and the pencil engraving template absolutely free. And speaking of laser business, if you are looking for other awesome laser projects you can do to sell, you can check out one up here. Thanks for watching, everybody.